Welcome to my channel, Private Idaho. We are continuing on with our Mass Effect Legendary Edition blind playthrough. So last time uh, we finished things up with Tali Zora uh, at the Migrant Fleet, dealt with her treason accusations, and then we went with Jacob to go confront his father, who is a weird, twisted individual. Now we're going to be back on the Normandy, and uh, we'll just see where the adventure takes us. As always, if you enjoy the content, hit like and subscribe, and let's play. All right, here we are, back on the ship, uh, doing everything that we can to get through our crew's loyalty missions here. And let's just say hi. How you doing? Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. I figured we may. So let's do a little bit of crew talk here, and then we're off for another adventure. I'm not sure what adventure that's going to be at the moment, but it's going to be something fun because everything in this game has been fun so far, except for the covers sometimes. But yeah, that's just me. Uh, it could happen to you. So, do we just keep getting junk mail now? Where's all this junk mail coming to? Uh, Elkos mail routing. Adrell lay in the ocean, dying from Keppel's syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. Adrell saw the wakes and eddies, and saw that sometimes the Enkindlers swam alongside him, limbs raking the water, while other times he was alone. The Drell saw what that the times he was alone were the hardest in his life. He asked the Enkindlers, why was this one abandoned? The Enkindlers answered, uh, their light shining brightly. You were never abandoned. In those difficult times in your life, it was our bodies that bore you through the water. Oh God, all right. <laughs> oh, I see where this is going. Uh, the Drell awoke and found his Keppel syndrome cured. If you follow the light of the Enkindlers, it can happen to you. Uh, where the Enkindlers, Enkindlers go, I can't say that word with enough <laughs> pizzazz. We shall follow. And where their light is the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance, and your greatest wish shall, shall come true. Well, that was a waste of time. I knew it right away. But uh, concerns regarding keepers from Chorbin. I hope this address still works. I promise to send you intel on the keepers if I found anything, and this is important. See those scans you took? It turns out the keepers are bioengineered. And based on my comparisons to some of the material from Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. Oh, who made them, though, so they weren't made by the Reapers. Uh, you may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by Protheans. It may have been made by something far older. I thought we touched on this before, but... Um, with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they're supposed to react to something, some signal or something about every 50,000 years. Uh, you can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the drought years. Whoever did this, well, around the last time the signal went off would be around the time the Protheans disappeared. And it's scheduled to go off sometime around now, or like a little bit ago. It's late. <laughs> if any of the old tech still works, they could uh, have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know. Nobody here on the Citadel will listen to me. Yeah, well, that's a little late, isn't it? Information, so. A uh, pleasure to meet you from Admiral Darok Sen at Vas More, uh, Shepherd Vas Normandy. I've been digging through the Alari, uh, the other ship. Just wait, wanted you to know that I found a few things from the experiments Rail Zora was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Corian people reclaim not just their home world, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Rail Zora's death will not have been in vain. I will complete what he started. Cordially, Admiral Daro Zen Mora. Uh, well, you're crazy. That's my opinion. Uh, to hell with you and your enslavement of the Geth. So, I say death to the Geth only when they're trying to attack me. Uh, other than that, we're good. Um, you know what? We have to go talk to Joker. I was thinking about it last time. And we kind of... I don't I don't necessarily check in with him every time, but I do like where he leaves his little messages or uh, talks about, oh, the last time you went out and those people that went with you. So let's see here. That, um... Oh, the there we go. Jacob's dad. It's bullshit, right? Because it looked like bullshit to me. Total bullshit. Uh... I don't know if so, there's a response to that. Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Yeah, we, we know that pre people person. Um, the squad. What do you think last, about the people we're picking up? The ones well, we went out with? The ones you went out with last? Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. Yeah, well, there's something weird about, about him. Jack. I'm not stupid. 
Yeah, it's just you my better opinion, not. Though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I love it. I do like his check-ins. Uh, good old days. Ever is it something new? Normandy and the trouble or is it just to? the same? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Yeah. Gath, We've... Sarah, we're stuck in a weird place, sure, but yeah, back well, then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. We'll do. That's it for now. See you, Commander. There might be something else that he has to say to us eventually, but I'm starting to get some repetition there. And, uh, yeah, I don't want repetition right now, guys. Oh, uh, we need to go feed our fish. I don't think I don't think we did that at the end of the last one. It's always worth the time. It takes like half a second to do, guys. I'm not even going to cut this because I know. Boom, we're right there. I got to learn, don't go for the coffee. Uh, <laughs> learning these little pacings. Listen to some jams there. I still like our outfit. We earned that outfit, so, and he looks sharp in it. We will, always. Uh, well, how are we doing here, by the way? Just kind of scanning through these metals. Those are the recruitment stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, now, last time we went with Jacob, so we actually we want to talk to him real quick. Let's find out how things went down with his father. All right. And then there's one other person we have to talk to, and then we are off. How are we doing here, Jacob? How was that? Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And Your father. Worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. We gotta you be ready? cool, man. I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Okay. Uh... Let's see, Normandy up. Wait. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? There we go. Like I said, if we don't upgrade okay. the hull on this boat, people will die. I have some lion's favors I can call in if you have the resources. Wait, did we just get to that? Is that a new one? Uh, heavy... Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, heavy ship armor to start with. Normandy armor. And resist the tremendous heat and kinetic energy of starship weapons. Yep. And let's check this one here. Uh, ship enhancements. Okay, we are short now. But we need... Let's see here. Uh, a lot more platinum. Wait, no. I The med bay we don't really care about, do we? Uh, modular probe, I guess. If Whatever. But palladium. There we go. We need, we need the shield upgrade. Uh, current palladium and palladium. We will remember that. Do we have anything else we can do right now while we're here? Oh, wrong thing. Upgrades. Uh, tech damage, tech duration. Damn it, guys. We just gotta... Anything we can, right? Um, and I think we're gonna get Morden going here soon, and I believe he's tech. Am I wrong? Trauma? Yeah. So when we do have to pull them back, I think we get all of their health back up. And prototypes, anything, Inferno armor. Um, you know what, let's, because we can get it, we're going to get everything. There we go. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use the Inferno armor or not. Um, we will check one of these times that we head back down. But no let's go. For you, Commander. Well, thank you. I mean, why don't you just tell me when we do get a message? Who we have here? Thane, Kasumi, Samara, who we still have to do. And we've knocked out everybody's there. We still have to do Samara. She's on... Uh, Omega, which is a big one there. We got a bunch of stuff to do at Omega. Um, we got to work with Grunt, and we got to work with uh, Mor Morden, I think. So, let's see here. We are plowing through this, so. Uh, yep, engineering here. We got to go talk to our best friend here. I think you guys understand that. What's up, Jack? Favorite character in the game. Hey. I want to talk about us. Talk to me, Jack. Talk to me, Why? Jack. I'm not interested in some dumb shit love affair. It never goes right. By the way, I've been thinking with all this. Liara will live like a thousand years. So no matter what, we're a drop in the bucket for her. No matter if we, we care or not. I don't know even how they feel about commitment, monogamy. We haven't had all those discussions that I know of. So I just don't know that and there's anything wrong in appreciating Jack here. So, um... Why do you keep running? Why do there you we put go. so much distance between us? Just want to explain my my role playing thoughts here a little for this guy. Murtok, a guy. He's human. Used me like the rest for sex, for biotics. Right. 
It was fun, and he ruined everything. We tagged a weapons frigate with a Batarian escort and got separated. He had a choice. Leave with the guns or come back for me. And he left. Idiot dumped the score and waded oh. into the squints. <laughs> I made the oh, shuttle, so now, no way he was getting out. Right, so yeah. he died. Now she I feels guilty. I fly for a day or so, and then the shuttle kicks out this recording. He set it to play if he hadn't checked in. He figured that would mean she just broken hearted. Talked about the future we were supposed to have, how he had planned to set us up a home, Aww. how he, how he loved me, and he was sorry it wasn't going to happen. Aw. um, yeah, survivor's guilt. Like yeah, his death was your fault. It wasn't. He tried. He saved no, you. No, he did it to himself. Yep. You feel you get sloppy. It's that damn. She simple. doesn't want to die you for somebody out, else. And you'll find out. I admit it. I can't fix you. No, it's like he saved if he you. If had left you, you would have died. He didn't care. So yep. what? You ever see me flinch or run? Death is easy. Fucking on-off switch. Yeah, it's not your death. It just burrows in. Like those husks, you end up with nothing inside. I'm supposed to take that and say, thanks, dead guy. Um. Here, we're gonna go. I admit it. Yep. I can't make all of that go away, Jack. Not in a few talks. No kidding. Told Jack's you awesome. Work. Guess you'll be spending more time upstairs. Oh, shut up. No. No. Nope. I'll be here with you. It's your badass, but you Jack. you just said. I said I couldn't fix it. Not supposed I to didn't fix say you. you. Weren't worth staying for anyway. Okay. What the fuck, Shepard? <laughs> uh, your trauma is unimpressive. We're all nuts. You're not winning this time. I'm just writing. We're all nuts. So or you're crazy. Saying. So what? That's practically stamped on the boarding pass for this mission. I'm dead and came back to life. It's just gonna hurt. Yeah, or that's living. Around, or I'll yep. end up killing you or something. And <sighs> life. And that sucks. So it'll suck. But how much fun is it going to be on the way? I, I need some time to think. All right. Oh, this is fun. Really? I'm really Just liking this. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this 100%. Not to give away any spoilers about how I'm going to play this game. I don't know what's going to go on with Jack here, but if if Shepard and Jack get together, as long as they're together, he's 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 with Jack 100%. Like he'll tell Liara, "Look, I'm sorry." Like, life changes people. Obviously, it changed you through some stuff, but uh, I'm just saying, Jack's a badass. So, hi, Tali. Let's talk since you've been Shepard, back. I forgot about that. What can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bushtet. I love her swears, oh, the, the Quarian I've got stuff. I a small fever, and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. Oh, no. Uh, how you sick are you? Do you need help? Or Is it contagious? Rest? Are we gonna get it? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry. It won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness. Really. We're gonna start romancing her what too? No, I'm kidding. Is no way. An acute allergic reaction. Uh, let's see here. Specifics, Tali's illness. I'm, I'm gonna ask. Exactly let's find out. Work. It's an allergic reaction. Gotta find out what's going right. on with these people. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like, what did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, okay. vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. So, but... I'm con I I don't know about like where what they're eating, how they're defecating, all that good how stuff right now. How, where are you vomiting in your suit? I in a fight back on the Alari. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. Oh, okay. But where do they open properly, the suit at? But one of the section seals had taken some damage and okay. foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing the Well, it's kind of a boring conversation. Unless you forget. Then it's okay. you get a damn fever. I'm still. I'm gonna find out. Part of your suit. Right, like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. This is that's a that's a lot of info there. Uh, your quarian your evolution. Yep. Stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld. Right. Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. What's the I'm theory? Now this is the important, a theory about the interesting it. part, maybe. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. 
Okay. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination right. and fight it. Okay. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. Then what, though? The death took the okay. homeworld and our colonies. The sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Right, right. Even I get that. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. Uh, well, well, well. I Sounds tough. I could live inside a suit my whole life. We're well, if you don't have a choice. Even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. Mm. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except, well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I trust you, too. No, I'm not hitting on her there. Talk to you later, Tally. I, I don't know if that, that seemed like a hit on her. See you later, Shepard. That's fine, I don't mean... Yeah, let's start uh, mingling our. The no, I'm good. reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. Did they? But engines are good to go. Oh, okay. We yep. rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intake. Oh, the second totally tier understand. Tires. I love it when you talk. Dirty. Yeah, exactly. There you go, Donnelly. Okay. Uh, well, I believe we're gonna head our way up. And I feel like there's got to be some logic to what order we're doing this in. It, or maybe not logic, but feeling. And that being said, let's no look. Thank you for telling me all about the no messages. Let's look at our journal for this one. We've got uh, Grunt, Samara, and Morden. Now, we also have out here Citadel uh, found forged ID. It may prove useful to some. A forged ID has been located while assaulting Harkin's hideout in Zakara World's factory district. It may prove useful to someone. So... Just an ID to give to somebody on the Citadel. Uh, FBA cuffling, couplings, we're definitely going to be getting those when we go to the Omega. And the rest of these, some are little missions. Some might be DLC missions. So uh, what we're going to do here, if we don't mind, is move on over. Um, I'm going in order here for a minute. Or I want to go to Tchanka to uh, and locate the, in the Krogan DMZ and speak with a clan chief or scout commander. I think this is going to be a very interesting mission, and we're going to do that one with Morden here. He's been with us forever, ever since we were at Omega, so it kind of makes sense. Um, this place, oh, where are we at, by the way? Yeah. We're at both of these. Let's go mass relay. Make a left. And s swing around. Um, once again, we could, I could use some, is it palladium? But yeah. You know what? Let's. I'm gonna do a little mining here real quick on our way. Uh, Goliath, a hydrogen helium gas giant. Let's do it. Probe away. Okay, we are out of probes there, but uh, oh, are, are we, we're literally right there. <laughs> Hold on. Come on. Come back. Come back. We need our fuel, and we're going to probe it up a little more because I want to get some of this research going. Oh, wrong one. We depleted that place enough anyway. Let's see, what are we at? Let's cruise over here to... Unexplored. Laban. It's a desert world with a sea... Uh, upon sea of scorching hot iron oxide, wearing away marbleized cliffs. Beautiful. Um... Wait, what's it say there? The Iridium came from the bunkers on the surface, blown apart by a Dreadnought-class weapon. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's scan the hell out of it. Oh, it's rich. Too good. Probe launched. Yeah, I'm feeling good about that one. Uh, let's do a little more over here. It's got to probe it up oh, once in a while. Detected. Job is a two-moon habitable planet that is most well known for its mass extinction event. Thousands of years ago, Job was home to a primate like spacefaring civilization as well as abundant flora and fauna. However, this can only be deduced from the time capsules put into the ground well outside habitation centers. All cities and detectable dwellings were targeted in a massive orbital bombardment that turned them into vapor. The resulting dust 
uh, shroud killed all photosynthetic life and all fauna dependent on it. Wow. Crazy. Okay, it doesn't say how or what, but um, let's see. Oh, there's an anomaly. Where's the white? Okay. Scans have found something. Oh, what is that? Mercenary activity detected on planet surface. Communications match blue sun's encoding protocols. Possibly location for rumored site of illegal archaeological activity. Um. Well, how do we not just get pulled into this? Where well, let's land. And uh, let's see, who do we want to take with us on this run? I want to take mostly people that are ready to rock. Well, you know what? Let's do Jack, because I love her. And uh, who else? Let's take Garrus. Let's get him out. Sept. Now you, sir. Uh, we need to think here. I want incinerate up. There we go. You were trying to get your warp better. And you, sir. Armor piercing anim ammo. Oh, wait, I'm hitting the wrong damn thing. <laughs> there we go. And let's go overload too so he can use it as he's needed. Um, did I not get my incinerate? There we go. Oh, I got it. Um, heavy incinerate blast. Splash zone is increased uh, versus heavy versus the one. Um, let's do heavy. Why not? Now you... We got you on yours. Yeah, we're all set now. Cool. Let's go. Actually, uh, we got the Locust, Carnifex Hand Cannon, and we have five options for heavy weapons here. Um, I don't know. You know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna keep with the Firestorm. That seemed pretty good last time. So, let's go. Where are we at here? Oh, these damn guys. Batarians, right? Blue Sun Batarians. Slavers. What are we getting into here? I don't know. I think we just... Did we find a little side mission? or? Alright. Retrieve artifact. Okay. Oh. Okay. And here we go. Let's, uh... Let's, let's... There we go. Throwing some stuff at him. So how many different types of smoke? What is it? Seven? We got seven. Let's just lay rounds into him. Let's get, you know what? Let's get another one of these out there again. I do like the AI. They try to angle you always. Or flank, you know what I mean? Alright, crew. I got the right people with me. I always have the right people with me. <laughs> Oh, some element zero. Let's find a ton more palladium. Hey, can we take one of these for a ride? Put it in the back of our vehicle. Are we going in somewhere? Yeah, we are. I was like, it's still nice to come get this stuff, so cool. Uh, maybe we should switch uh, auto rifle or assault rifles too at some point. Just try it out. Are these? Yep, there we go, guys. Okay. Let's move. Oh, it's pulling us into... It's not just a door opening. Okay. Okay, personal locker up there. Oh, oh, shit. Are they right here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. Are there more? I would think there'd be more right away. But if there's not, that's that was funny. We're, we're starting to get powerful here, guys. The more coming right there. Up top. No shield. 
I knew it. Oh, come on. Yep. Who likes it? Who wants some? Oh, this guy? Oh. I was trying to get an angle on him to be able to send that stuff up there, but that isn't working, is it? Let's get a drone out there. Oh, use un unity, huh? He's over there getting messed up. Okay. Oh, we can't yet. We will. Um, yeah, let's use it now. Where are you at? There's one, another one. Oh, we're gonna get our med kit back here too. Who else? Anybody? Thank you. Take our meta gel back. Break even. So artifact. The last time we've been to art, we've. I don't know. The last game there was an artifact run, wasn't there? I don't know. Stuff twisting around. Personal locker, okay. Up the stairway. Yep, just another, uh. I just don't want that there if they start shooting at me if I come around the corner. Nope. Yep, that's what I thought. Where are they coming? They're gonna have different angles on us here in a minute, I know it. Nice shooting. What the hell, dude? You can't get any angles on him? Where's our girl at? Coming! I'm with you! Where Where is I'll get there? Where'd Jack go? I don't understand. She'll come back, I guess. She's stuck behind a door like in the first one. That's not cool. Not digging it. On your six. Okay. Telling everybody get on me, but I'm very concerned now we lost Jack. You know how I feel about that. Oh. Uh, I should have first one with a shield, huh? Why is why are you not doing what you need to do, fool? Yeah, you're toast. Let's get another one. We'll... Is this guy here? Yep. What's up, Lieutenant Locke? You ain't nothing. Alright. Uh, more element zero, though. Good stuff, why not? Wait, PDA. There we go. We need a little PDA in this uh, episode. Lieutenant Locke, once the artifact is secured and in transit, your orders are to take your men and rendezvous with Captain Voorhees aboard the MSV V uh, Strontum Mule in Aaron Larkin system in Omega Nebula. Okay. Assist for S with the capture if needed, Commander Santiago. Um, recapture and collect the cargo. Cerberus canister. Okay, so this is a side mission for Cerberus, but we stumbled upon it, so... I guess we're playing it, as far as I'm concerned. Um, we can go find that ship. We're going to be doing that next, probably. Oh, what the hell is this? <gasps> Prothean! Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, now. Can we still understand anything? Oh, another vision? Wow, that was cool. What did we get out of that? Oh my god, there's a mission. Okay, recover Prothean Relic, eliminate Blue Sun's presence at dig site. Gain a little bit of experience, a little bit of credits, and some, some zero. And I guess we're back on the Normandy. What was that one? Operative. Complete a mission discovered by scanning an unexplored world. 
Nice. Well, there we go. There we go. And we're back on. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, sure. Well, let's find that out. Uh, unread messages. Uh, Blue Sun's activity traced from Cerberus Command. We did a little due diligence on this Lieutenant Locke and his rendezvous with Captain Vorhes. The coordinates we obtained as the last known location of the MSV Stronti Mule have been added to your galaxy map. Uh, it turns out that the mule is carrying a valuable cargo, including intel of sensitive nature. We'd like you to track down the Stronti Mule and recover that cargo. Please pass the information to us and you can keep any other items of value you may find. Do what you will with the Blue Suns. Okay, and thank you from Leslie. Oh, I was on Aya. The food made me sick. The doctors are helping me now. One doctor... Yeah, oh, yeah, the Jacob's father's planet. Uh, one doctor knows Jacob. He says he can tell you this. He could write this for me, but I want to do it. I need to use my words. My words are coming back. I can talk well. Reading is hard, but I am getting better. I have to get better. Taylor wanted me like this. He wanted my words gone. I have to show him that he lost. I am not weak. He did things to me, and he can't now. He can't take away my words. He can't take. He can't make me not me anymore because you and Jacob stopped him. That is heavy shit, man. That that's crazy. I mean, I just didn't want Jacob killing his father necessarily if that was an option, um, or else like yeah, that guy deserves everything he gets. How about that? Okay. Oh, we gotta go uh, feed. We gotta go feed, and then let's go get that Strante mule. I guess, and finish this out. My fish are not going to die. There we go. Perfect. Let's go, guys. Back to the galaxy map. All right. No messages for you, Commander. Well, I appreciate that. I didn't think any had come in the last two seconds, but, uh, you know, we'll take what we can. Um, while we're here, though... Oh, we were... Uh, scanning. Let's uh, pick up some more probes. And are we full on fuel? Let's let's finish scanning. Okay, well we are done with that one. Is there? There's another planet here, the ringed one. So uh, one of the first times ever my recording just crashed on me in the middle of this, but because of the way I do it, it kept it. Everything should be good and you guys won't even notice, but uh, Ms. Rame, a small gas giant. This rain is primarily hydrogen and methane around a rocky core. Okay, let's scan this one. It's moderate. We'll find something here. Launching probe. Hey, we are out of probes. We used them all for once. Uh, let's buy more probes and then get the heck out of here. There we go. Fun. Uh, where's our mass relay here? We're getting close on some of our... Uh, palladium and all that stuff, but I don't think we're quite, quite there yet. Uh, we're looking for... Hold on. Let's see. Um, what? Are, we don't want save crashing ship. No, no, no. It's... Uh, help some more. Recapture freighter. Is that it? In the Omega Nebula? I want to look real quick. Hold on. I want to make sure we're going to the right spot. Um... Yeah, Strontium Mule in the Omega Nebula. There we go. Let's do it. Still recording, nothing crashing yet. Damn. Getting crazy. I might have to clear out some caches or something. I've done a lot of recording on here, so... Right. Omega Relay. Omega Nebula. There we go. To the Nebula. Alright, and... That's funny that Omega is here. But where is where we want to go? Help Samara, Erdak. Is there one over here? Am I confused? The hell? Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. It's got to be it, right? Um, recapture freighter. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is it. We've been here once for the palladium-rich planet. Um, but we only scanned some of this place, so that's actually... Did we did we totally deplete this place before we go in there? Uh, scanner... Rich? No, we didn't do any. Pick this place up real quick. Let's, let's add up. Alright, so we're looking good here. I'm gonna pop out. I think we're, uh... 
we still have, you know what, what other planets are here? If we're 50%, we have to go check out, man, that's a big, there's like nothing here. And so it's just the Stronti mule. That's the 50%. Cool. Well, uh, we're going in. Let's do it. Derelict ship detected. Derelict ship registered MSV. Strontium mule. Visibly damaged from weapons fire. Ship is not responding to hails despite life signs aboard. Transmissions using known blue suns encryption detected. Airlocks are sealed, but the ship can be boarded through an emergency hatch in the cargo hold. And that's a what we're doing. Who are we going to take in with us here? All right. Uh, right. Let's see. What kind of mix of people do we want here? You know what? I'm going to take Grunt anyway. Even if we haven't done his thing yet. And um, we need somebody... You know what? I'm going to go with Kasumi. Except. And anybody got... Yes. Grunt. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. We can't do him. We're waiting on his... Um, you know what? I'm going to leave him the way he is because we still want to use those up. So let's go. Kasumi, though. She can get her flashbang grenade... And we can improve flashbang or frag. Uh, extra damage versus incapacitating targets further away, keeping them down longer. I like the, the get rid of targets. We'll keep them down. That's fun. All right. And let's go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go. All right. Okay, where are they at? Who we got, guys? Oh, there they are. It's, uh, I'm gonna need cover. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. Come here, fool. Weak. Weak. Definitely weak. I'll put them down. There, we need to get more cover. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm just, like, truthfully, right now, I'm, like, worried that my computer's going to crash again for no reason. All right. Oh, where's the heavy? Where's, where's the heavy? What is this shit? Oh, he's right there. What? Um, okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Where's the Merc transmitter? Is it up here? There's that little blue... There, uh, just on the ground, got it. Dax, that incoming ship isn't leaving, like the fools are moving to board. Looks like the fools. We're the fools. Uh, the airlocks are sealed, so don't waste your time. Get a team together and be ready to welcome them to our cargo hold. Blow them out of the cargo bay doors when you're done. Um, okay. Well, let's go deal with this ass. Oh, we're gonna get more. What were these people doing here? What were they doing here? So we had an artifact, we had the Prothean stuff. Are we are we heading up or heading up? Uh airlock security read. All airlocks sealed, okay. Very good. I would hope so. But they want to blow us out the airlock? Okay. Is there anyone else here? I don't know, but our drone is gonna in. Yep. Incoming! Cover. Oh guys. <laughs> Man, come on, dude. Is that hitting my own drone? Alright. Oh, you would... I would think I'd be a little stronger by now that a couple bullets don't take all my shields away. Does this scale as you go? Because these aren't... This isn't supposed to be hard. That I know of. Maybe it is. I mean, it's not hard either. It's, it's easy as hell, but... You get what I mean. I'm just trying to tank through these guys. Uh, security lockdown in effect. Se security console to override. Wait. Is that it up here, or is it the one all the way back down? There we go. 
There's like, gotta be a way in. Sure, I think we found it. Uh, let's get this bypass on. Where's our circle? There. And, oh, these two here. And these two here. And this one here. Awesome. Always, always happy when All I can here. bust through one of those. Such a hard puzzle. There we go. Oh. We'll take you. What do we got going? There's two different ways, so let's see. Is this a... Oh, there are multiple ways here. Where the hell are we going? Hold on. Ah, I want to go the way we don't want to go, right? Yes. Thank you, objective. And this place. Who do we got? What is going on here? Oh, shit. There is something. I'm just going to kind of explore this. This place is kind of nuts. Yep, there were some up top. Got it. Maintenance records, FTL drive damaged and repaired with substandard parts. Risk of complete failure is elevated. All right, all right. Um, what did we find here? I don't know, a bomb? By the way, I'm just letting them do their thing. Oh, what do we got? So funny. Are you up there? <coughs> <laughs> yeah, right on your ass. I'm just that's that's hilarious to me. Oh shit. I was thinking there might be Oh they just oh they're with me now, huh? You guys are crazy. Oh shit. What? For the blue suns. Okay. Okay, okay. Multiple ways to get through here, huh? Yep, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Uh, can we not get up this way? Is that the thing? Oh, we can. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna bust his ass in like two seconds. What do you want, dude? Hostile you want some? Oh, it should have taken him out. There we go. Fool. What else we got? Uh, Kurtz, heads up, man. Those intruders are still alive and fighting their way through the ship. They have Commander Shepard with them. Ooh, they recognize me. Very good. Uh, you better get your men ready to fight. Bortus has something up his sleeve. He's got that canister full of loot, and I think he's planning to do something to Vorhes to, to, and take it for himself. Wouldn't be surprised, Bethor. Oh, well, well. Okay. Um... Let's work around here. Main console. FTL drive inoperative. What else we got? Power cells. Oh. So obviously there's something heavier coming, huh? Um, all right. I think where's our objective is back this way. Or is there an up top? There isn't a door there, is there? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll find our way. Maybe we have to go up and around the other way. It's fine with me. Let's go. They probably already killed half the people on this path. If. <laughs> just sent them out on their own. Yeah, just up top above us, right? Okay. But let's head left and wrap around. This place is kind of fun so far. Yep. I'm digging it. Medical station. Oh, we didn't need a metagel. I'll take that. What is going on here? Oof. There's obviously something not good. All right, guys. And we're moving. Yep, you toasted him. And we're good on the ammo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like that. Wouldn't that let me know? If he thought something was right up ahead. Locked. Uh, security lockdown in effect. Seek security console to override. And it must be through this door. Along with a bunch of people. Yeah. 
Uh. Oh, come on, dude. What else? Oh. There is one. Look at all these dead bodies just laying here, though. What happened here? Right. What happened here? What is going on? What is going on in this place? Okay. The Strontium Mule. Well, now where do we go? Security count? What? Oh, maybe back this way up top around. Okay. Well, I'm glad we have... Oh, do we have to go up higher? No, oh, that's up where we came through, so... There we go. Alright, dude. Uh, security lockdown. Yep. You gotta remember gotta that. Be a way in. Oh. Bridge security control. Connect the matching pins. I think we know. Um, where the hell? There we go. Circle. Uh, I don't know why I have any pop-ups coming on my stuff. Damn it. All right, let's do this. Uh, circle, circle. Where's your circle? This is. These are spread out. These are. This is a little tougher, isn't it? Because it takes longer to remember where they're at. Nice. All done here. All done. Wait. So bypass security. Are they coming up through? Yep. But is that just the bridge security? Or is that other other one? Transmission relay. Communications uh, relay inoperative. Okay. I'll tell you this, though. Before we go through, I want to run back down this way. Just see. That bridge... Is there a main security station? Or did that bridge security uh, do it? Nope. It's still locked. Sorry, I'm an idiot. I like how you can run in place that way. All right. I'm interested to see um, Mass Effect 3 eventually when we get to it. Like, what little differences with the years in the in the game? Oh, I want to I want to hit this guy. Come on, come on, guys. Come here. There's one. Or somebody with some shields here. Oh. oh, so I fire that, and it—it's uh, just so weird how they—they they seek sometimes, and other times they only go into cover. So, I need cover. you know what? Get out of my way. Right. I'm sending them in. Here we go. I'm here. Okay, we just need to recover our health. Put that them. in there. There's Captain Vorhees, huh? There we go. You're not going to like that. Oh, don't get caught on that door there. What are you doing over here, Krogan? Yeah, you jerk. Get in that door. Just mess him up. Bodyguard, huh? Commander. Ambush. They're toasted now. Oh, there's more coming? That's fun. How many more we got? Who else wants fun? Alright, guys. Oh. Oh, shit. This is fun. Boom. Nope. Oh, these are more blue suns ambushing us. That's kind of weird. I'm just going to kind of wander back here. Let's finish this fight before I read this stuff. Oh, Sergeant Bortus. 
see. Go get him. Tip for you. Yeah, Vortis isn't going to like it next time we see him. Come here. Oh, dude. I just cannot. That thing will not shoot at anybody. Oh. <laughs> uh, damn it, Krogan. Get out of my way, you fool. There we go. Sounds good. We will uh, be checking that out. Good. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, is there anything else here? What is up with all this blood? What is happening here? Uh, yeah. So, there we go. Merc transmitter. Uh, Bordas, your men better be ready. I hear the intruders making their way here, and you better be ready with backup. The captain was not forthcoming with information, but I found his codes in the ship's black box. We'll get this canister open, but first we have to kill these intruders. So what's in the canister? Ship's main log. This is the final entry for Captain Jarrett Barnes, skipper of the MSB Strontium Mule. If you're reading this, I and my crew are dead. Two weeks ago, we answered a distress signal. It turned out to be a Blue Sun's trap. We managed to escape but sustained heavy damage. Do not approach the coordinates in this log. If you find the canister in the cargo hold, you are welcome to its contents. The authorization codes are encrypted in this log. Authorization code decryption complete. Um, is that something we really want? Okay. Like, I'm afraid of opening a canister, truthfully, but, uh, let's head. I know it's back that other way, right? It's gotta be. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, we have our guns out, but I don't know that it's necessary. Okay. Now, where did they all come from? Were they in this room? With the canister? Okay. And anybody else trying to kill us here? Not that I'm seeing. Uh, Jakir, this is it. Get your men under control and ready to move. These intruders are the key. Once they hit the bridge, Voorhees will call for us. Do not answer. The intruders will take him out for us, and we'll get the codes to this canister ourselves. At this point, take out anyone on your list. The fewer men left, the bigger the prize for each of us. Ooh, that was some shady stuff there. Some backstabbing crazies. All right, we got some iridium, which isn't bad. And payload, do we have anything else here? Let's, uh, let's recover this payload. Wait, is that just money? Is that our... Okay, I mean... That's not very interesting, but let's do it. We're gonna get to talk to, uh... Oh, wait, now it's something interesting. What'd we get? What'd we get? Sweet. Okay, so uh, we recovered sensitive intel. Cerberus uploading commencing. Defeated the Blue Suns. Um, experience gain, very little, but still good. Iridium, we're good. Anything else after this? Okay, back on. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, let's check that one out. Uh... Blue Sun's ambush site detected from Cerberus. Uh, we've started going through that intel. Fine work. By the way, and we've discovered the location of the base where the Strontium Mule fell into the Blue Sun's trap. The Blue Suns are indeed using false distress signals to lure merchant freighters near their base with the intent of capturing and raiding those vessels. If you can get out there and shut down their beacon, it'll save a lot of merchants a lot of distress. It'll also strike a blow to the Blue Suns as a whole. The base is on a planet sanctum decorous system, Sigurd's Cradle. We've uploaded the coordinates to your map. So now, oh, so now we can go uh, take out the Blue Suns base when we're ready. And I think we've gotten sidetracked a little bit. Uh, our intent was to go uh, with Morden to Tachanka. And we're going to do that in our next episode. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we totally got sidetracked there. Had no idea that we were going to go that direction. But in truth, I really like those episodes. Uh, that's why I always say we're going to try to go somewhere, but we never know what's going to happen. As always, if you enjoy the content, hit like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.